Hey you guys, it's your girl Kristen here. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, a YouTuber, and a mom. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And before we get into this content, because I know you guys are here to find out about how to get more clients, but we gotta give some love to our sponsors in this video. You guys know me, I keep it real and raw with you guys here in this channel. I don't promote a lot of companies, I'm very picky. About a few weeks ago, I was reached out to by Beverly, who's the CEO of a black owned, female founded company called Caribrew. Now Caribrew, they specialize mainly in Haitian coffee beans, which is the backbone of their agricultural economy. But they also started doing amazing little body products. So Beverly was generous enough to send me a couple of their products and I will include close-ups right here so you guys can see the beautiful texture to these products. So she sent me moisturizing coffee body butter, which is made with coconut oil, organic Haitian coffee, and shea butter. And also the moisturizing two-in-one body butter and coffee scrub. It's made with organic Haitian coffee, shea butter, sugar, and essential oils. But before you go and you purchase things, make sure you use my code. You will get a 10% off discount if you use KMarie10 at checkout. So make sure you do that. Give Caribou some love on Instagram as well and tell them that I sent you. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I promise you, you won't regret it. I wanna hit that subscribe button if you're also an esthetician or maybe you're an aspiring esthetician, that's all welcome here. We are steady, growing, and flowing here on this channel. It makes me so excited to continue making these for you. Make sure you turn on that notification button so you know when I'm posting. I've been posting every Monday for you guys. If you clicked on this video, you're probably like, all right, girl, let's get to the money. Let's talk business. How do I build clientele? And so I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to get clients fast. Another video that I had made that was called how to make 10k a month as a solo esthetician but this is going to be a refreshed version of that I'm going to be giving you new tips also we're going to be doing a little giveaway at the end of this video grab your notebook and pen I have my notes right here to talk to you guys and make sure you continue watching and we'll get right into this so how to get clients fast. Probably within the first three to four months of me being in my studio I was was pretty busy and it was because I went into my business um, full force. I knew that I was going to be dedicated to building it and potentially supporting it myself for about six months. Just to give you a quick summary of where I'm at currently if you're new here is that I've been in business for a year now. I'm currently maxed out with clients. I'm pretty much at the point where I cannot take new clients. I get inquiries every single day. I have to turn away people and it's really a, a huge blessing, especially in a crazy time like this during a pandemic. These tips that I'm gonna give you are really what helped me to get to this place. Some material I go more into depth with in my training. So if you guys are interested in any of my virtual trainings or coaching sessions with me, then make sure you check out my information here. Without further ado, let's get right into my notes right here. It's funny I mentioned writing things down because I want you to take some time to grab a notebook and pen if you haven't already and just write down your ideal client down to like the most specific thing you can make it. Age, income, what kind of services you hope that they get. And I know we all kind of have our niche when it comes to clients and so certain individuals like working with maybe more mature skin or younger skin or skin with pigmentation. Um, if there's a certain target market you want to go after, make sure you include that in writing down who your ideal client is. Obviously, I'm not trying to exempt anybody saying this because obviously anybody coming into Kristen Marie & Co. will always be welcome. There's never any um, anyone that I wouldn't take. But there is a certain clientele that you would hope to have in your studio, one being loyal clients and two people being able to afford your services and to continue to come back and also eventually be become a friend of mine and be somebody that I really create a relationship with. So set that intention and if you want to get a certain amount of clients, make sure you write down how many clients you're hoping to work with. The reason why I tell you guys to make sure you watch those other videos is because I do dive into about branding yourself, about social media, and all that and I did mention that video that client experience is going to be super super important treat every single person coming in 
as potentially someone who could bring you five or 10 more people. You guys implement the, the points that I make in that video, you will be getting clients. Watch those videos and start to see everything flowing. Giving your client a sense of FOMO. And I know some of you guys have heard this phrase, right? FOMO, what does that stand for? That stands for fear of missing out. And so we're all like this, okay? You know, when we're being left out of something, we're like, oh man, like I wanna be there. And maybe if, even if you initially didn't even wanna go, but you see that all your besties are there and they're having a good time, you're like, I wanna go. So in a sense, giving your clients FOMO is totally, totally a strategy that works. And honestly, I've stumbled upon this. I didn't do this intentionally. I didn't do it on purpose to trick people but it really is a thing and so when you first start out you're obviously going to have full capacity to take however many clients you want my suggestion is to not fully fully open your books right away i would suggest opening up your books pretty part-time doing about five a four or five hour um increment of time and so that you're not looking so available they're like oh i guess she's you know she's just available whenever i can just go and book her whenever you'll start to see as you limit your availability um and i know naturally this will happen once you start actually getting those clients but in the beginning you could actually really limit how many people you're taking in and that in that way it almost makes you look like you're more limited it would be best for especially if you're a newer esthetician to juggle like if you are going to plan to open up your own space you could do your own space maybe two or three times a week and then you can go and work for somebody for one or two other days out of the week that would actually be a really good um like safer way of going about it make sure you're not posting on instagram oh like my hours are from you know nine to five monday through friday like have at it you know no like make it very narrow and specific and also what i started to do when i did start booking up with clients was i would notice that i had certain time slots that i wanted to fill and i would go and i would take about two or three of those time slots and i would post on my instagram story so i would post specifically like okay i have an opening on tuesday at 1 p.m um, for a 50 minute facial um, and I would only put two or three options on there and then I'd have people replying back and I would go out of my way to help them book through, you know, book through me instead of them have go through the system. And you will find that you might gain more clientele if you do kind of go out of your way to help them book because let's face it, sometimes people are lazy. I know I can be lazy too about taking the extra step. It would be a lot easier to just be able to say, hey, can I come in at this time on this day and my girl just books me. So you will have those clients that are gonna go to your booking system and book on, on your website. And I'll talk to you next about how my social media page is laid out so that it is a lot easier for people. I know for me, like when I have a menu that's like too, there's too many options, I get lost. So when you're giving people more specific choices, they're gonna be more likely to just like pinpoint one. Like either, yes, you're free at Tuesday at one or Thursday at five. Of course, if you guys wanna know more about the social media aspect, make sure you check out the part two of that 10K, how to make a 10K a month video because I really dive deeper into social media. But of course, number one is you're gonna wanna be posting as frequently as possible, especially in the beginning. I was posting every single day. I was going hard at it. And of course, you know, having people share your posts um, and posting regularly and tagging people, that's always gonna be helpful. I don't think I touched on this in previous videos. You want your page to be as easy to navigate as possible. For me right now, I have a link tree in my bio on my Instagram and that's been working for me fine just because like I already have the following, I have all of that. But if you're starting out, it'd probably be good to make your bio link just your scheduling system or whatever system it is that you're using to have people book you. That just gives them direct access to that. That is the first thing they'll click and the first thing they'll see. Make sure you're you're updating your availability. Um, I personally only have availability up to four weeks out from the current date. So again, giving clients FOMO, um, not putting your books out like three, five months in advance. First of all, you wanna have a life and you want to make sure that you are um, not booking yourself out too far in advance. And I also have highlights that I've saved on my Instagram. You can actually go and create a highlight. You pick a thumbnail for that highlight and you can brand it with whatever name you want it. I've highlighted different things of my work that I posted on my story because not everyone's gonna see your story and so to have them saved on your page is really good. It's almost like a portfolio for more of a portfolio 
besides your actual posts for people to go and look through and see what kind of services that you offer. Giving people a call to action. So when you do post anything on your page or on your story to give them something to do with it. If you just post, oh, hey, here's this really cool enzyme I did on my client today. All right, cool. So people are gonna be like, I why does that matter to me? And so when you tell them, hey, you know, I'm doing this really cool enzyme in my facials now and my uh, my anti-aging facial, I have a few spots left, make sure you go and book. And then if you're able to say, hey, you know, click the link in my bio, or if you get, you know, to 10,000 plus followers, you can actually link things in your story. Giving your people a call to action to go and actually book something and give them an, an instruction <laughs> when you're posting that, I feel like has been very helpful for me. Also hashtags are really, really helpful as well for attracting clientele. So whatever area that you area that you're in or city that you're in, make sure you put the city and then put facials next to it or your city and spa or your city and skincare or your city and esthetician. People really try to look at those hashtags and like narrow down things because you don't want to hashtag things that have millions or several th hundred thousand different posts related to them. You wanna post hashtags that are gonna be very specific and have a n more narrow audience just so that people can really like find you. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I have a few more points to make and then we will end this video with our giveaway. I know I had mentioned in one of my videos that um, I didn't recommend doing a business page and a personal page. That, that point for me is still like, it's a hit or miss. You can either take that advice or not. I don't think it's bad to have a business page, but if you're gonna have a business page, make sure that it is a business page. And the benefit about having a business page, so you can actually go to your settings and change your personal page or the page that you just made into a business account. That does is it actually helps to give you insight to um, your audience. Go to your insights and you're going to go to your audience and you will see and you can actually click through the different days of the week and you will see what times are most active for your followers. So if you are going to post, make sure you're posting at those ideal times for your specific audience because what works for me could be different for you. The algorithm, you know, that the algorithm is basically what controls who sees what posts and how often they see your posts. Instagram, you know, they reward you for being more active, first of all, and then they're gonna reward you for creating content that is um, memorable. And so now when people save it or share it, it is more likely to be seen. That means creating content that's actually going to entice people to save it or share it. And what, what makes people wanna save things or share things? One, if they wanna refer back to it, meaning you're giving them some sort of information with it, just a really appealing piece of content. I've said before that videos are always, always, always going to get more attention than a photo. Most of my stuff now are reels or videos. One last point I wanted to make before we get into the giveaway is to always be ready to network. Maybe you're somebody who's not necessarily a social media guru. Or here's something that you can do that is very old school and has gotten me clients in the past. When you're out and about, be an approachable person, meaning you have a smile on your face. You look put together. I will admit some days I go out looking like a bum, but it would be nice for you to do your hair, maybe do your makeup a little bit, wear your uniform. People are drawn to uniforms for some reason. And if you can go and get your, your smock like embroidered with your name and your title, people will see that and they'll be like, oh, that's, you know, an esthetician. Okay, cool. Like she's got nice skin or she looks put together. I don't know how many times I've had people stop me when I'm just on my lunch break, just walking around saying like, oh, I like your, I like your uniform. I like, you know, what do you do? And it's a conversation starter. And I've also had people overhear me and friends talking about like skincare services and things like that. And I've had people literally say, oh, like you do facials? And I'm like, yeah. So just always having, your what you do at the forefront of your mind and just being an approachable person so when you get those opportunities to to give somebody your information it'll be good to either give them your instagram name so making sure that instagram name is something that's short simple nothing that you're gonna have to like really help someone spell out like having multiple 
symbols and you know letters in them make it very easy to remember to tell somebody right in like a five second conversation actual physical business card um, and it'd be great to put a photo of yourself on that business card so going and getting hopefully like some professional photos of yourself taken and putting that headshot onto your business card then people will relate your face to that business card and it'll just be so much more memorable knowing and remembering that people are always paying attention to you whether you think so or not just always knowing that you are representing yourself and your brand and your business and encompassing that businesswoman mindset that boss babe mindset and just treating others with respect and treating everybody like an opportunity to gain a client just always putting your best foot forward and being that professional at all times i think is so important it will set you apart It'll make you look like you know what you're doing and know what you're talking about before you personally feel like you know what you're doing or talking about. Just emulate that, fake it till you make it if you need to, but it's all about how you present yourself to your community. And that is all that I have to share with you in this video. I really hope that you gained so much out of this and like this video, please guys. This really helps me out, helps the word get out more. Please subscribe. Turn on the notification button so you know when I'm posting. And without further ado, let's get into this little giveaway. This has been one of my favorite masks from Image. This is the Purifying Probiotic Mask. And I want to give it away to one of you guys. And I might throw in, you know, a couple little extra extras in your package, but this will be like the main star of the show. So if you want to be entered in for this giveaway, here's what you gotta do. Of course, you need to be subscribed to your girl and you need to follow me on Instagram. Post on your story, maybe record a little snippet of me talking in a video or something and tag me onto your story, not your page, your story. And comment below one tip that you learned from this video that was extremely helpful for you and I will enter you in. So again, you know, be subscribed to my channel, turn on the notification button. I threw that in there just now. <laughs> turn on the notification button, follow me on Instagram, tag me in your story and comment below what your favorite tip was and you will be receiving this full retail size mask along with some other goodies that i'll throw in there so i love you guys thank you so much again for taking the time to watch this video look forward to seeing you guys next week stay safe and i'll see you then bye